That's the gate Z told us about. Trade this at Doma's shop. Not a bad find. Newcomer. You heading to the cantina anytime soon? Probably. I dare you to put a restraining bolt on Monk. Why would I do that? Because he won't serve me anymore. Tab, schmab, I'll give him credits when I got credits. Glad you came to Kobo, Cal. You're a hard worker, aren't you? And always putting others before yourself. How can you tell? Smudge of dirt on your pants, a whiff of adrenaline. Your eyes dart for danger, alert. I call it hunter's eyes. It's a trap game. A hunter refines her ability to observe. But for the record, your friendly demeanor don't fool me one bit. That right. Oh, yeah. You're a natural hunter, and you damn well know it. Who taught you to hunt, Mosey? Well, I grew up in a large family. My siblings and I competed with one another for attention, praise, food sometimes. Had to be the strongest to stand out. Sounds intense. Yeah, Mama was hardest on me. Always pointing out a mistake, criticizing my techniques. That must have toughened you up. Yeah, it likely did, but I've come to resent it. Probably the reason why I flung myself here. I barely knew my parents. Yeah. Well, that ain't always a bad thing now, is it? Be seeing ya. Don't worry. I won't hurt you. Can't open it. Hey, fellas, how long you been together? Too, Too long. long. We were one of the first people here, and both tried scouting for Priorite. Had zero idea what we were doing. Couldn't find anything. Then I remembered I hate the outdoors. And I got a sunburn on my gastrodermis. Not fun. 
Then I caught sight of the most pathetic, bumbling prospector ever to walk the planet. Rumsey Forlow. Me too. Of course, we both started making fun of clumsy Rumsey. I laughed at Gulu Zingers. And I at Guido's. And we've been stuck together ever since. Because we shared something special. Rumsey was a loser. Still puts a smile on my face. Ah, you troublemaker. So long. Hey, you! You're the one taking shots at the Raiders, right? That's me. Bad idea. The Raiders have got eyes all over the Reach. Took down that watchtower, if that's what you're referring to. Oh, yeah? Well, let's hope there aren't any consequences for the rest of us. Hello there. 20 cycles ago, heard this town was nothing but a few shacks. Now look at it. Yeah, sometimes I wish I could go back there, see what it was really like to rough it. You could always head into the wilderness and start your own town. I think I'll stay here, thanks. They don't look friendly. say anything. Oh, right. Must be that ringing in my ears. The other day, this roller mine blew up, nearly took my head off. There is a building just off the path to Dredge Canyon. That's where the roller nearly got me. I bet they're guarding something useful, but I'm not going back there. Maybe we'll check it out. Be my guest and be careful. This ringing in my ears is driving me crazy! You check out those rollers in the building yet? Still working on it. Come on in, look around. Well. Take a look, you'll find the finest components in sundries this side of the outer rim. Now that's a Doma Dendra guarantee. Hear that, buddy? A guarantee. That's right. Shop's built on trust and quality, and I aim to keep it that way. Quality wears 100% guaranteed. Won't find that anywhere else. Some good-for-nothing raider triggered the security on my storeroom door, and now it's locked shut. Maybe your little droid can use this encrypted backup code to get it open? Do your thing, buddy. My goodness, you unlocked it. Feel free to take whatever you can make use of. Never have enough of these.
Well, hey there, traveler. <laughs> Hi there. Don't mind the beast. She don't like strangers. The mountain don't neither. You be careful. I'll try. Thanks. Prospector's folly, we call it. Pretty treacherous. Crawling with all kinds of dangers. Sounds like our kind of place. <laughs> There's stuff beyond these crags that make your blood run cold. Oh, we could tell you some stories. Good job. Don't think I can call the lift from here. <sighs> What's your name, lad? If I'm to hold a grudge, best to know the name. I'm Cal. This is BD1. My bantam old mum dubbed me Scuba Stev. Scuba the Fisher, am I? You know, there's a fish tank down in Pylon Saloon that could use some attention. Pylon Saloon? That will have infested watering hole down in your valley. All right, all right. Get I asked. Ah, fine, twist my arm. I'll do it. Meet me at the saloon and we'll appraise this so-called tank. Guess not. You're the aspect of a fisher lad. And uh, lucky for you, we're perched just above the lair of the sea fish. Sea fish, huh? That's right. An impossible catch. No fisher in the right mind would pursue such a quarrelsome fool. No fisher, but scuba stem. That was pretty impressive. You still think I'm small time, eh? No, I believe well, then, I've no choice but to regale you with my bleak most history. Tell me a moment, and I'll tell you a thing or two about old Scuba Stave. So, you wish to prick up your ears and receive the tale of Scuba? If you're sharing stories, we'll listen. <laughs> Then you be a fool, my lad. A sordid tale will bring you nothing but grief and woe. Okay, well, if you're not sharing stories, we'll... Oh, fine, I'll tell you. At your own assistance, and at your own peril. My story begins in a small village on the frozen banks of Sakavita. My home world. Nights black as quellfish in it. Winter so cold, a stern look can turn you to glass. Doesn't sound like the easiest place to grow up. Difficult, eh? From the moment your mother's milk froze on your tongue to the moment you found it on frozen streets. You see, the fishes, they 
had the right of it. They dwelt far below the ice, where warm currents danced like ribbons in the wind. To fish so scarce a quarry, on account of the great fish famine, well, it's nearly a mild undertaking. But for all the belly aching now, there's a peaceful enough life for a wee Sakarian with an instinct for the rod. So you discovered your talent early. Such a talent was I, that as a lad, may hardly spot my first prickly chin here. I was given an audience with Undun. But that'd be a tale for another time. Oh, and uh, some advice, lad. If you're planning to scale the mountain, you'll need to give a strong grip. Let's take this to Doma's. See what's up ahead, buddy. Be easy. Think of the rewards, Shanna. Come on. Okay. Seeds. Wonder where I could plant these. Maybe we should take up prospecting, huh, BD? Passing through, officer. <laughs> Nothing that ain't made of dura steel is passing through this electron wall. Weapon's hot, sir. Let's shoot it before he gets ideas. Negative. We've got our orders. Sure, you can't make an exception. You smell that scum? That's imperial air you're breathing. So get back before I forget my orders and we see how tough you really are. Why don't you drop the shield and we'll find out? Nice try, Furman. Lucky for you, this gate's got a remote switch. Only base command can open it. Yeah, or we tear you to scraps. Clamp it, trooper. I'm handling it. Copy that, sir. Blockhead. You got ferrocrete ears, scum, or just a death wish? I ain't changing my mind. Get out of here. Now. You got ferrocrete ears, scum, or just a death wish? I ain't changing my mind. You will lower the shield. I... I already showed you my authorization. You already showed me your authorization. Uh, sir? TK-783 to base command. Lower the shield. What? Wait, what?
Gotta unlock this. to center myself. Why'd you ask me here? I don't like you, and you don't like me. That's right. But you annoy me a lot less than the others in this go-nowhere town. And I think you feel the same. What are you saying? Out with it already. I'm saying this is a date. And we're on it. And if you don't like it, too bad. do anything with it without a garden. It's all right.
Let's look. What's that, bud? Hey, this is a good find. enemy. I get it. They're weird things. I'd like to know what's in them, too. But we don't have that kind of time or resource. So no. And please stop asking.
What'd you find? We need to use this. Great. What is it, buddy? Do what you gotta do, buddy. for sure, but it's missing something. There we go. Only the force. Okay, I'm ready. Well, look who it is. Keeping busy. There's always something to do. Well, you won't make a living talking to me. Unless you mean to rob me. Wasn't planning on it. Well then, have a wonderful day. Yeah, Barry. No, Pudge. It's only Carl. In fact, 
get the short greeting, lad. I'm always on edge when fishing for the finger lips, Garpon. What a name. And fierce as they come. But that doesn't deter the poachers. The poor Garpon, despite its rarity, is a delicacy for the black of heart and a rumbly of belly. In we go! on an empty stomach, Scuva? Hey, I, I can't succumb to the passions of the stomach. The garpon must live. I'd better get me mind off it. Uh, spin your tail. Where are we? Ah, yes. By virtue of my prodigious fishing talents, I was taken to see the mysterious one they call Undun. I can see it still. We, Scuva, usher the de Jong black-mouthed cave. I could barely make out the figure, glinting with moonlight. I scrubbed my eyes, like a, a old tar scrubbing the deck. And there she was, a vast creature. Great tentacles blooming from her blubber, like cables gorging on a fuel tank. One of the tentacles twitched into the air, just over my head, and then, wham! Right on the noggin, so I'm told. I staggered out the cave like a lover first acquainted with the deck. But something else happened. I think, when that fell tentacle struck me, Undun took something straight out to me brain and put something else in. She put something in your brain? Aye, boy. The subtle art of catching a fish. The art of focus. And in the dark, with nothing but the bristles on your chin for company. That focus is special. From that day forward, when I plunged my line into the frigid waters, it would emerge with a fish. In three times out of seven. That's less than half. My village told me that I'd be the one to save them from the great fish famine. Little did I know that the grapnel was soon to arrive on our shores. Gonna assume that's a bad thing. Perhaps, lad. And perhaps not. But that'll be a story for another time. Have you two had any run-ins with the raiders? They wouldn't dare. And we don't do much running. But I do hate what they've done to this outpost. I hate how they are always rooting through our outpost scrap heaps. I hate how they scream all the time. You haven't had your beauty sleep in months. <laughs> Looking at you, you haven't had beauty sleep in the past hundred cycles. <laughs> <laughs> On that building you told me about with the roller mines. Really? And how's your hearing? Mine's okay. Thanks for the warning. Lucky you! Find anything of value? I did stumble upon a stash. Oh, good. Well, you deserve it. Now, if only I could get rid of this ringing in my ears. Not to see you. told me where you're from, Bug. Here and there. Spent a lot of my life on Biren. That's where Kata was born. Ever been? I haven't. Hmm. Inner rim. Sleepy, but it suited us for a while. Until it didn't. 
Oh, don't sweat it, BD. You take the good with the bad, right? There were good times on Buren, too. Gotta remember those. Otherwise, how do you go on, you know? Let's catch up later. We barely escaped Coruscant, Grease. Wish I had you by my side. Yeah, me too. There'd be less to repair on the Manon. Do you ever have any close calls like that? Oh, yeah. I was out in the Ryloth system one time. Suddenly, I see three modified light corvettes on my tail. Oh, oh yeah, it was bad. We quay pirate. I tried every evasive move in the book. Full throttle, I couldn't lose them. So how'd you escape? I managed to divert the power from the ship's climate control to its engines. It gave me the extra boost to shake those pirates off. <laughs> and a new trick to push the Manus whenever I needed it. That's why the Mantis always gets colder at full speed. A greasy secret. Don't you tell nobody. Later. Hey, buddy. Hiya, Cal. You and Droid seem to get along, don't you? Sure do. Always had trouble connecting with people. Droids are logical. Easy to fix when broken. People? Or unpredictable. No kidding. But once you find the right person, it gets easier. Hope so. Great to see you. We'll speak later. Go on, sit forth. Gal, how do you and Grease meet? I was working on Brock as a scrapper. Grease gave me a lift when I needed it most. The way he tells the story, seems you gave him a lift too. That's so. He never said the words exactly, but when I wanted to turn that back room of yours into storage, <laughs> he threatened to replace me with a gontroid. People show their affection in strange ways, don't they? Yeah, Monk. I guess they do. Seems like you and Doma have some history. That's right. She took me in, showed me around, hid me, because I was on the run, Cal. On the run, huh? What'd you do? The heist of the century. Every bounty hunter in the galaxy was after me. You pulled off a heist? Is that so hard to believe? Well, yeah. And that's how I pulled it off. No one thinks much of me around here, so they never see me coming. <laughs> they never see me coming. And that's when I get them. You know, you've got a core world air about you. It's becoming... You from the core? Guilty as charged. I studied the galactic economy with some of the greatest minds of Coruscant. Then watched those same minds ooze into obscurity while real opportunity whistled by. Real opportunity? Oh, you know, tax-free trade, extrajudicial imports, what have you. Oh, you mean smuggling? What I mean is that the galaxy is begging to fill your pockets if only you play its game. Talk later, hmm?